In today's video, we're going to be discussing Hot Wheels card information, and specifically the 2018 and 2019 Mainline series. Please support our channel by liking the video, leaving a comment, and subscribing if you haven't done so already. Just a little disclaimer before we get started, in this video we'll be looking at mainly 2019 and 2018 mainline cars, so some info may not relate to earlier years. And we'll just cover some general card info to get started. On the front we've got some very cool artwork showcasing the casting. Uh, on the top right hand corner we've got the collector number, in this case number 1 out of 250. At the bottom here we have the casting name, so this is the Nissan Skyline GTR BNR32. Little side note, is a new casting for this year. On the right hand side we've got uh, the subseries name which is Nissan. And just above that we've got number 4 out of 5, so it's number 4 out of 5 out of the Nissan subseries. And we'll just flip it around to the back. Um, we can see that this is an international card by all the different languages on the back. One thing I want you guys to make a note of is we have the licensing information just by my left thumb here. So we've got Nissan and Yokohama, because this is a licensed Nissan casting, and it's got the Yokohama branding on the car. Pretty cool. Let's have a look at these 2018 cards. Uh, as you can see on the left here, we have a short card. Um, I believe that the reason for short cards is it's easier for retailers because it takes up less display space in their stores. Uh, we can see here both of these are the exact same car, the 15 Land Rover Defender Double Cab from the Hot, uh, HW Hot Truck series, and it's number 7 out of 10. Now you'll notice that we have the collector number on the top right, the tall card, uh, but on the short card we don't have it anywhere on the front of the card. However, if we flip it around and have a look just on the back here, you can see that it's the HW Hot Trucks 2018 series and it's number 31 out of 365, which is the same as the collector number on the tall card. Now this will be the same for the 2019s. So here we have a rip rod from uh, 2019 HW Game Over series, number two out of five. And just as a side note, it is a color variation on this one, but we'll have a look at the numbers. So the collector number is 16 out of 250. And on the back of the short card, it matches that. So let's have a look at the differences between US and international cards. The card on the left there is a US card in the red Jeep. And then the exact same car, but a color variation in the green Jeep is a international card. Now the US cards tend to have a bit more information on them. So if we have a look at the card on the left, at the top here we've got the Guarantee for Life stamp. We've also got a new casting for 2018 stamp. And you've also got a stamp showing that it was the 50 years, 50 anniversary for Hot Wheels. Whereas in an international card we don't have any of that. We've just got all the base information. Now if we flip it around to the back, on the US card on the left here, you'll notice that it's all in English. So that's a pretty clear way to tell the difference. And the international card on the right here, you can see multiple languages. So that's the easiest way to tell the US and the international cards apart. Now just something I want you guys to note is the US cards, that fifth digit after the dash shows a D, so that indicates that this was from the D-Mix assortment case. Whereas if you have a look on the international card on the right, there is no fifth digit. So there's no way of telling on the card which case this is from. Whereas with the US, it's pretty easy. And then you'll also notice that you've got the base codes uh, stamped on the back. Those will normally be stamped like that or uh, printed on some other series. So for 2018, the color variations get their own individual number, as we can see on the 17 Jeep Wrangler. The red one came out first, and you can see it's number, let's bring it a little bit closer, number 84 out of 365. Whereas for the green color variation, which came out a little bit later, 
it's number 176 out of 365. Now for 2019, it's a little different. So here we have the Nissan Skyline GTR BNR32, number four out of five from the Nissan subseries. And if we have a look at the number of the first one that came out, it's number one out of 250. Whereas the color variation, the white one, which came out a little bit later, has the exact same number. So that's the main difference between the 2018 and 2019 color variations. So we'll have a look at this 2018 Batmobile treasure hunt. The first thing I want you guys to note is that there's no collector number for the 2018 treasure hunts, making them very easy to identify on the pegs. And then on the card, we can see just behind the casting on the actual card, there's the silver circle flame symbol indicating that it is a treasure hunt. And if we have a look at this 2019 uh, Corvette Stingray treasure hunt, you'll notice that now we do have the collector numbers so they get their own collector numbers in this case number 159 out of 250 and again if you have a look behind the casting on the card inside the blister you'll see very clearly that silver circle flame symbol indicating that it is a treasure hunt Things are pretty similar for the 2018 Super Treasure Hunts. If we have a look at this uh, Vented or Mirror Homage of the HW Exotic Subseries, number 6 out of 10. This is the regular. We can see there's no Circle Flame logo underneath the car. And this is number 239 out of 365. And now on the Super Treasure Hunt version, we're going to have a look for the Gold Circle Flame symbol. As you can see here just underneath the car inside the blister on the card and the other thing I want you guys to take a note of is there's no collector number on the super treasure hunt as you can see on the top right corner things change again a little bit for the 2019 super treasure hunts we can see very clearly underneath the casting on the card we now have a gold circle flame symbol indicating that it's a super treasure hunt now the big difference between 2018 and 2019 is that now the 2019 super treasure hunts do have a collector number and that collector number is going to be the same as their regular version as you can see on the left here of the same one so on the left we've got the regular version of the nissan skyline gtr bnr 34 and on the right we've got the super treasure hunt version which is very clear to see that gold symbol at the bottom it does have that they do have the same collector number just another little side note if you have a look at the uh, card artwork the super treasure hunt is a slightly different shade of green just to reflect that it is a super treasure hunt uh, just as a side note i will be making a video later on uh, going into a lot more detail with the treasure hunt and super treasure hunts so i'll try and leave a link somewhere there just a little bit of extra information that extends to the mainline themed series uh, if you have a look at the cards first thing you'll notice is that they are very they're pretty much the same size and shape as the regular mainline cards uh, the big difference is how the artwork is done now we'll have a look you've got very cool artwork relating to the series and the casting uh, you've got your casting name just at the bottom and at the top right corner you do have your collector number so you can see which card is out of that set we'll flip it around you've got all your regular information on the back as well as your licensing information now i just want to show you guys the difference between an international and u.s card for the main line theme series so here we have uh, number six out of eight the Rivington roadster and number seven out of eight the Eurus from the 2017 Lamborghini mainline theme series. And if we flip them over, the one on the right clearly has a lot of different languages on it, indicating that it's an international card, whereas the one on the left only has English, indicating that it's a US card. Now you're still gonna have your licensing information on both, but the nice thing about having that extra space on the US card is that they can now show you all the cars in that set. And then another little note is you do have your base number imprinted on the back of the card here and on the US card you got it printed just over there. 
Well guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please remember to support our channel by hitting like and subscribing to our channel. And we hope to bring you a lot more videos. Thanks for watching.